Hey y'all, so today we're gonna to be doing the root beer lab, uh, a demonstration of fermentation. So um, again, this is gonna be going over the stuff that we learned in class, the two types of respiration, aerobic and anaerobic respiration, using our buddy uh, yeast, a little fungus among us here. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the materials we need, we need one 500 or 900 milliliter bottle uh, with cap. Um, we need a large graduated cylinder. Uh, about a thousand milliliters will be fine. Sorry, this would be an Erlenmeyer flask. Let's go ahead and get. In, let's go ahead and talk get the graduated cylinder. This, my, this, in fact, is a graduated cylinder. So yeah, get, let's go ahead and get this straight. So we need a graduated cylinder, um, disposable cup, measuring spoons, and with these, I am a little bit crazy, uh, driven a little bit crazy by the imperial system. So I'm going to endeavor to use the metric system. So we're going to use milliliters on this. Uh, let's see how it goes. All right, um, yeast, the aforementioned fungus among us. And we've got um, 30 to 35 uh, Celsius tap water. Actually, let me go ahead and pour this in. And I'll get this, go ahead and get this hot 30 to 35 Celsius while, while we're working here. So, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out the procedures. All right, so I'm going to label. I'm going to label my empty flask um, bottle with cap uh, with my name and section. Okay, name, section, check. Uh, just to keep everything clean, I'm going to put the cap just loosely back on the bottle. Okay, so in your disposable cup, you want to take 0.625. That's 0.625 milliliters okay and that is a that's basically um half of a quarter teaspoon so it's not it's not going to be very much so and again it is going to be virtually impossible to be exact on this so if you basically like fill this halfway that's going to go ahead and get you there so go ahead and add that go ahead and add that to the cup and then we're going to go ahead and add 118 milliliters of water. Okay, let's make sure it's we're good. Okay. Look at that. It's amazing. It's just perfect. Who knew? Just absolutely incredible. All right, so we're going to measure 118 milliliters of water. Again, make sure the graduated cylinder is flat on the lab table. Nice, accurate measurement. All right. There's my 118 milliliters. So I add that to the yeast. And remember, it's, it's the warm water that kind of wakes, wakes up the yeast and gets, gets it uh, ready to get to work. So, wake up, little guys. Here we go. All right, so you're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes, okay? Meantime, in the meanwhile, you are going to, ah, and also you want to make sure, make sure that in, that the yeast is thoroughly, is completely dissolved in the cup. So go ahead, if, if you need to, go ahead and stir it with either a spoon or a glass stir rod. All right, so now, in a clean 1,000 milliliter beaker, this is a beaker. Uh, actually, oh my God, I'm struggling tonight. This is an Erlenmeyer flask. All right, so um, in a 1,000 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, mix 59 milliliters of sugar, which is a half cup, okay? Put that in there. 0.375 milliliters of root beer extract. And remember the sassafras, you know, tends to give you cancer, so we're not really using that anymore. Um, so you use three of these, one, two, three, and 400 milliliters of warm tap water. Go ahead and pour this from my beaker into my graduated cylinder. So 
my 400 milliliters, and I go ahead and pour it into my sort of imaginary sugar and root beer extract uh, mixture to make a solution. And again, you want this like, like actually on the table, I'm just doing that for demonstration. All right, so now I've got my sugar and I've got my root beer extract and I've got my water. So you wanna make sure and mix that up. So you can either agitate it like that, or again, go ahead and use a, a, a glass stir rod if you need. Give it a couple shakes like that, make sure the water dissolves, um, making the solution. Make sure the sugar dissolves, making the solution. All right, um, then 10 minutes have passed so you go ahead and add the, the yeast solution, which is now properly awake. You add it to the sugar solution and root beer solution. And now the yeast is going, yay, sugar, something to eat, a little buffet. Um, then you pour that whole mixture. And again, you wanna make sure that it's nice and, nice and mixed up. Then you pour that mixture into your bottle. Okay, um, and then then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and in your in your note in your lab manual you're going to go ahead and take note of your of the color, you're going to take note of the way it smells, um, and you're also going to go ahead and pour a little bit into your disposable cup and drink it to see um, to see the taste and go ahead and and mark your uh, reflections in the lab manual, um, and then we paraffin wax the cap. Put the lid on snug, okay, nice and tight. Um, then we let the yeast go ahead and do its thing, um, absorbing, sucking down all of the all of the oxygen, uh, farting a little CO2, making a little bit of acid and a little bit of ethanol as well. So um, that'll get you started in about a well, five days or so. We're gonna have ourselves root beer. We can take it from there. Uh, have fun with this lab. I look forward to uh, seeing what you find out.